um, let's start with CVS because I went to, or not CVS, um, let's start with Walgreens. I don't know why I said CVS. Um, but I picked up a Revlon Color Stay foundation. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I know my, my Nina, my aunt, my godmother, she uses this foundation and her face looks um, great all the time and you know, I wanted to try it. I got the number 340 Early Tan and I'm wearing it today. Everything that I have on my face today is drugstore makeup. So um, I have a tutorial for it. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below and I'll also have like a little link somewhere in the video so you can click on it. This was on sale for $8.09. So um, I actually like it. So far, so good. I also got three nail polishes by Sinful Colors. I got this really pretty brownish taupey color and it is called Nirvana. And then I got this green one and this is called Innocent. And then I got a black. What is this called? Black on black. And I just like, I don't have a black, so I needed one of the black for sure. And the green, I just thought it was like a cool color. I don't have a green that looks like this. And then um, I thought this was going to be like pretty when uh, it starts getting like dark and ugly muggy outside like it kind of is today. So I got those and these are $1.99 each. Some other nail things that I got were the Sally Hansen Salon Effects uh, Nail Polish Strips. I've heard lots of good things about these, so I also wanted to try them. Um, I got Cheetah, and then I got the gold uh, glitter. And I don't know. I wanted to get tons of other colors, but I didn't want to, you know, just buy all, all kinds of them and then end up not liking them. So that's why I only got two. And these were, I think, $10.99? $9.99. So I got those two. And then I also got this L'Oreal The One Sweep Sculpting Blush Duo. And this is in the color 830 Flush or Rose Eclatant. I don't know what you call it, but that's what it looks like. And I actually really like this. It is more of like a peachy pink and then here is the contour color. And I am wearing it today again, like I said. Uh, that was that was $12.99 and then I got two Maybelline um, quads and yeah two Maybelline quads I got charcoal smokes and natural smokes and honestly I got the natural smokes because if I'm correct, um, I was watching one of Holly Anna Ree's videos and she uses this a lot. I think that's what she said. I'll have to go back and check. But I wanted to get this because of her um, and I did use it today and I love it. Uh, charcoal Smokes, I got that because I just thought it would be like a quick, easy, smoky eye that I could do a tutorial for. And you know, you can do a lot with these things. They have like... They have it numbered for you, like base, lid, crease, liner, and stuff, but you can totally do whatever you want with these. You don't have to do what it says to do on the numbers and stuff. And then, um, oh, I have something in here that I got from Target. I got the Sonia Kashuk um, Blending Sponge. I know uh, they have like the beauty blender thing that you can get online, but um, I haven't been like tempted to get that one. Um, so I got this one from Target because the girl that I go and do weddings with, she um, uses this one. And I have I have a sponge like this, but it's from MAC, and it's the Pro Sponge. So um, that's the one that I use. But she recommended this one, and so yeah, I have to try this out. This was, I think, $9.99 or $10, something like that. So uh, yes, I got the sponge. And then on to Cosmo Pro. I went to Cosmoprof and one of the things that I got that I'm super excited about are my um, Jessica Simpson clip-on bangs. Jessica Simpson hairdo clip-on bangs. I've already taken them out of the package. Um, they just come in a cute little bag like this. These were $14.99 I think. I don't remember. But they come in a hairnet. Uh, I don't know if I should put them on for you guys. Let me see. <laughs> Okay, um, well, they are pretty much my color. 
they're gonna look like let me see and then also from Cosmoprof, I got some Satin Smooth um, Wax, and it is the Lavender Wax with Chamomile, and I have the warmer, and you know, I wax myself, uh, I don't go to the salon to get wax anymore, because I just do it myself, but I think it was like $9.99. And then I got some more Kenra Hairspray, this is my absolute favorite hairspray, and it is... Um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so a lot of the stuff that they have at the Cosmoprof store that I went to, like they have a lot of stuff in the regular, um, you know, like in the regular packaging, and then they have everything in the breast cancer packaging. So, of course, I wanted to support the cause, and this is the Susan G. Komen for the Cure, a uh, little branded name right there and this is the super hold finishing spray in the number 25 it smells like this stuff seriously smells like cotton candy i love it so much and it holds my hair all day so i don't have to like touch it up or anything and it doesn't leave my hair sticky so i love that and um then i got what else did i get oh i got a new teasing comb or brush. I had that other comb thing before and that I got from Sally's, but I needed a new one because I left my other teasing comb at the salon I work at, and so I needed one at home. So I just got this one. I haven't used it yet. And then I also got some eyelashes. You bought two pairs of Ardell eyelashes, which I got the Giselle runway lashes, and then of course um, the Wispies because these look like really nice and natural. My favorites are the Demi Wispies, but they didn't have any. And I think I have some left, so I was like, well, I already have some left, so I don't need to buy any. But yeah, I got the Wispies and the Giselles, and I love these. But like I was saying, they're having a sale at Cosmoprof where if you buy two of the Ardell eyelashes, you can get a free um, China, China Glaze nail polish. So I bought two pairs of lashes, and then my sister-in-law bought two pairs of lashes, and she just gave me her nail polish. She didn't buy a China Glaze nail polish that she liked. So the first one that I got is this really pretty, um, like purpley grape color, and it's a it's not matte, but it doesn't have any sparkle to it. So I like it when it's like creamy, and this is in the color Urban Night. So that's the one that she gave me, and then I got this one, this really pretty like blood red color. I've been super into red lately, like I don't have anything red, like a red scarf or a red pico, and I said this on Twitter, like I'm just loving red, especially like on the lips and everything, but I'm wearing that on my nails. Oh, sorry, this is called High Maintenance. And these are regularly at Cosmoprof, I think, $3.99. So, yeah. And then last but not least, um, I went to Victoria's Secret because I needed some more um, bras. Um, and I got this perfume. It's the Noir Tees. And it's in this really pretty box. It looks like there's beads on it and all that. And this is what it looks like. It is so cute. It's in this black bottle with the little side pump. I've always, always, always wanted a perfume where I could like squeeze it on and like the back in the day and the old days. I don't know. It just reminds me of like the 1920s or something. But um, yes, this was $45. Yeah, it was $45 if I remember correctly. And I just love the way it smells. It smells like sweet and floral at the same time almost like pears I remember on the box I read that it had like a pear scent to it it just smells really good I don't have any perfumes that smell like this and my favorite perfume of all time is my Gucci perfume it's the Gucci 2 it has the pink liquid inside the perfume inside um, that is my like all-time favorite I never get tired of that one I'm actually running out of it so I need to get that one but I like to have a variety of perfumes, and when I smell something that I like, like, I need to have it. So this was one of those, because I went to go buy my mom perfume, and I was smelling all of them, and I liked this one, and I said, you know, I think I'm going to get this, and then I got my mom a different perfume. So, yeah, I definitely think that this would be, like, a really great scent for the fall and winter time, because it's not too fruity, like, how you want to smell during the summer. So definitely a great buy for fall and winter. Um, and... 
that's all so thank you guys for watching my haul and i hope you're enjoying all of the videos that i've been uploading lately and i'll see you in the next video bye